Welcome everyone to Greg and Clark play a new game. This is a game that I picked up today at Walmart. It was kind of an impulse buy. It's a game that got highly recommended to me by a lot of people. What game is this, Clark, man? Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a game that I feel like I need to play. I haven't played Animal Crossing since the original Animal Crossing back on the GameCube. So we're going to give this a run here today. We're going to try this out and see what it's like. Hopefully it's awesome because I spent $50 on this game. But I think Clark's gonna like it, and I kind of got it that we can play together. It's it's non-violent for the most part. Yeah, it's not violent like Fortnite. Like all these other games we play, it's and not violent, my, right? My dad was getting the game that gave me um, Star Screen. Yeah, I might have bought a Transformer while I was there as well. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get into this game here. I'm gonna be playing as Clark. This is one thing we're gonna do. So this says, good afternoon, this is from Timmy. We're excited to have you here. I'm gonna read through this for you guys, just in case you don't feel like reading yourself. It says, let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. You excited to win this, Clark, ma'am? There's so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. Timmy and Tommy Nook. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Yeah. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? All right, so I'm going to be playing as Clark in this game. Do you remember how to spell your name, Clark, ma'am? Um, um, C. Yep. L. Yep. And that letter right there. That one's an A. Uh-huh. What, what's this one? R. And what's the last one? K. Okay. Clark. Are you okay with that name? Uh-huh. Clark? Okay. They don't want you to use a bad word in your name, apparently. That's not something they're a big fan of. Uh, and Clark's birthday, this is very easy. One, two. Oh. January 2nd. Uh-huh. Okay. That is your birthday. They do something special for your birthday. Here, Clark, man. Clark. Clark. Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you. Clark. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. I'll be ready when you are. Fizz says fifty dollars worth it. I hope so. Clark is gonna be the boy, I guess. Is that is that the one or do you? Yeah, I'm a boy. Okay. <laughs> I don't wanna be a girl. I don't wanna be a girl. All girl. right, we're gonna switch Clark to this color. I think that's about right. Yeah. We're gonna switch his hair to uh, that hair. Mm-hmm. I think that's about switch right. Switch the nose to circle. Well, we gotta switch eyes, and we're gonna go. Which ones do, were we looking at here? Oh, um, the big. I like those ones. Yeah. With the uh, blue. Oh, we need to switch the hair color. That's a little wonky, too. That's probably more likely. Yeah, that's my hair. Style. Yeah, it's not so crazy. And we're going to go with that nose. Mm-hmm. And do you like that mouth or this mouth? I like that mouth. This the one? Big, the big smile. The big smile. Mm-hmm. Clark has no uh, moles or anything on his face, so this is our Clark, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Are you okay with that one? Mm-hmm. All right. There's Clarky in the game. He's in the game. He's in the game. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. Is the audio okay on this? Can you guys hear the nooks and all these guys talking in the background? Sometimes these games are super loud. Yeah, I wonder why they can't talk properly. Because they just go... They're so excited. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh, yes. In fact, if you want, you can even experience the season the same way you used to. you're used to them. I mean is... We have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island as the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Which is great because it's spring right now. So tell me, Clark, where do you live now? North America? Yeah. Okay, Clark is in North America. All right. Oh, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? Okay. We are good. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So, don't worry about whether you have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. All right, Clarky. We've got a big decision to make I'm here. I want a big map, not a huge one. I'm kind of liking, um, I'm kind of liking this one, the one that's the, the top left right here. Mm-hmm. 
What do you think about that one? It's got some water going through it. Yeah, I think I want that one. It, does it have any trees? This one's kind of cool too. This is like a three river stadium here mm -hmm. where you have all of the water waiting. Yeah, I think I want that island right there with the air is pointing. This one has an island in the center though, which is kind of cool too. Mm -hmm. See that little island that's in there? Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do something fun with that. Yeah, and we have, we have two islands. We have an island in the middle. We have an island outside. Hmm, this is a tough decision to make, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think I want that one right there. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, Clark has chosen. The man, the myth, the legend has chosen. This is a big decision to make, Clark. A okay, this is our island. <laughs> Wonderful choice, says Timmy. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. How much money do you have? <laughs> no, if you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would you bring with you to a, to an island where there's nothing else there? I would bring some milk and some milkshakes. Some milkshakes, okay. Mm -hmm. A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, or something to kill time. I guess Clark's answer is some food, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Nook Incorporated will fully cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Well, thank you, Nook Inc. I'm not sure if I completely trust you based on what I've experienced in previous games. But... The chartering flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. We're gonna fly there, Clark, man. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Okay. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. I hope they actually show it flying. That's gonna be sick. Dad? Yes, sir. Look at this side. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as a part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about a deserted island life. Okay. We're down. I'm into that. I like this place. It looks pretty. Oh, that could be us, Clark, man. Or you. You're the only one in the game. You can catch bugs in this game. Pick up sticks. Oh, you can go fishing. I know you like to fish. So look what happens when it turns fall and winter. It's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, this is the kind of game I need in my life right now. This is very... Very cute and pleasing. Oh my gosh. Are those our neighbors? Ooh, look at that. It's a big fish. This is cool, man. Yeah, bug catching is apparently a thing in this game. You can make some serious money catching bugs, from what I understand. A Nook Inc. production. Nice little trailer there, Mr. Tom Nook. There's the plane. Oh, they have it. The loading screen is the plane flying down at the bottom corner. That's funny. Okay. Oh, we got a boombox. Fruit! Yeah, we're going to be hungry. Getting some food. Okay. Ooh! I wish I could play as myself. Here. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move. L, follow us. I suppose, I suppose. What's up, bro? You're a chicken? Can I pick up these sticks? <laughs> I just go off on my own. <laughs> All right, are you following me? There we go. You guys are slow. What's up? Is that Tom Nook? Long time no see, Tom. Mm. This is Clark in real life. Mm. Alright, let's 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 talk here. Mm. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see, says Timmy. Is Pashima here? And how about Goose? And is there a Clark? Of course. Great. We're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. 
Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? I don't know what his voice is. Of course! Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations! And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes, I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and, ah, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please, collect your tent from Timmy and Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Okay. Give me my tent, Timmy. Or Tommy. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh... Thank you, Timmy. I love a tent. Okay, so I have to press X to access my inventory and then select your tent. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. I know where we're putting our house, Clark, ma'am. Right where the rivers meet. At Three River Stadium. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Oh, I already have it picked out, Timmy. Okay. How do I look at my the map? Oh, I saw it. Okay, close that. Who's down at the bottom? Okay. Let's find the rivers. Okay, so here's, here's one river. Oh, Dad, there's some fruit. Look at fruit. I don't think I have to collect fruit just yet. Yeah, collect them. How do I bring up the map again? No, 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 I don't want to build here. I saw the map down at the bottom. There's the ocean. Okay. Anyone, uh, oh, I can't cross this, unfortunately. Let's, let's keep going. We're going to build alongside the water. I know there's a spot, though, that all the rivers meet. Where are the river? Oh, this is it right here, Clark. This is where the rivers meet, I think. See? There's a waterfall up there, too. Maybe we'll just be here. This seems like a glorious spot for a house. I think, like, right here in the center. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah like, right here. Can I can I build my thing with all these trees around here? Yeah! Oh, there's the map. You just have to stand still for a bit. Yeah, we're right at the three rivers. I like this spot. Okay. Um, X. And... Uh, select your tent. Um, can, uh, can I put it where that tree is? I don't understand where is this going to be down. I think I need to move back some. Hold on, let me move back here once. I didn't know it was going to be up that high. We'll try it right here once. Okay, select the tent. Perfect. This is the spot. Oh yeah! What do you think? Yeah. I sit on my tent. That's a big first step. The tent at Three River Stadium. I love it. We got trees. We got some sticks on the ground. Oh, we got apples. This is great. Yep. See, this is a great spot. Okay. What can I do now? Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things. Okay. Fine. I'll go back to Tom. Where was Tom at, Clark? Oh. <laughs> We're. <laughs> We're literally right behind this spot. Like, you can see our tent from here. See it? Okay. We sure went the long way to get there. All right, Tom. I found a great spot right behind you guys. Yes, I did. Oh, you're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right spot. L location. Well, we found it ahead of time. We were already kind of scouting it out. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Okay. Where are they at? Let's go find the others, Clark. Well, here's this dude. You're... Wait! I got it. Don't tell me. You're Clark, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Pashmina. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, kidders. You already found a good spot, huh? The best. I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. No. 
I, in fact, I have the best spot. My name is Clark, and I have Three Rivers Tent. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now, this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. So, um... Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks good to me. I really don't care where you set up. Well, if you're sure... Actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here... What? Looks nice, don't it? Yeah, I think it looks great. Sure. From now on, this won't just be anywhere on the island. It's going to be my home sweet home. Cool. I should have made her neighbors with me. That would be cool. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, kidders. Oh, thank you. Very, very kind people here. I wonder what that goose guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs help, too. Old B to run, they say. Oh, yeah. Let's go find Goose, Clark. You think he's out here? Gotta find Goose. Goose! Watch him be setting his tent up right beside mine. Like, how dare you, sir? I bet Goose is over here. There's that little... little, little rat. Well, check him. Yo, I'm Goose! You're Clark, right? Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> Baka! You already set up your tent, eh? I'm trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Clark? You know what? I'm going to find you a spot. Friggin' right side, Will. Wow, we just met and you're already doing some heavy lifting on your or our friendship, Clark. Okay, then. Can't wait to see the epic spot you picked for me. I, I put it down right here. <laughs> Just, I'm like, yeah, this spot looks great. My tent is in your hands. Okay. You got this. Okay. If you need me, I'll be over at the plaza visualizing how awesome island life is going to be. Okay. You like lots of fresh air. Is that right, son? Let's see here. Put, put him out on the beach. Put him in the water. Oh, I can't. Ooh, it's cold. Actually, that was a really good spot for him. I'm not going to lie. There's lots of fresh air, like, right here. Look how much space he has. Is there a bigger spot? Yeah, let's put him here. He's close to the island, too. Or the little thing we made. Alright, so X. And, uh... Actually, let me move back. Because it comes up above me. Press that. Press that. And, uh, yeah! I think that's good. It's up above you. Yeah, right there. I think that looks fantastic. He can walk right out and dance around and stuff. He can go pecking around. He's got his own tent now. Looks like everyone has a spot picked for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza, which is not hard. Oh, they're not even going to let me walk. Okay. Okay. Welcome back, everyone, says Tom. I hope you found just the right spot to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm. Really get a feel for how it suits you. With that taken care of, we can move to a more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. We'll get, we'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Wow. We'll, we'll just need a few supplies to get started. I bet he needs sticks. Since we're all living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Pashmina, Tommy, and Goose can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Clark and I will work gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Ooh, milkshakes? Oh, yeah. All right, everyone. Let's get to it. Clark, would you come see me for a moment, says Tom. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, good, good work, guys. You're thinking about making something. All right, Tom, what's up? Clark, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches to do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island, so when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y and pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the orange-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real oranges. Really? Okay, let's go find some sticks, Clark, man. I see one. Of course. Look at those, look at all those sticks. Do you think they're oranges, Tom? I think Tom might be on drugs a little bit because, I don't know. What do you think those fruits are, Clark? They look like oranges to me. Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm on drugs. I don't know. Let's just keep gathering sticks. 
I should be an overachiever and I'll bring Tom 20... I just picked something else up. What was that? Oh, I picked up a clump of weeds. Oh, yeah! I can give that to the chicken and he'll be so stoked because, at least in Minecraft, they love eating all kinds of seeds and weeds and things like that, so... Let's go look around here. Comb the beach line. Nothing. There's Goose's, Goose's tents right there. I thought I was coming here on vacation. I didn't realize I was doing all this work, Clark. I thought we were going to go, like, swimming and hang gliding and do all kinds of excursions and such. Yeah, oh, I saw everybody else. I've got, oh my gosh, I've got 12 of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can plant those here. Mm -hmm. I'll plant them at the house. We'll have some weeds growing outside. It sounds awesome. Okay. All right, Tom, I did your dirty work for you. Oh, good, good, Clark. It looks like you've managed to collect up tree branches. Mm -hmm. You found even more than I asked. I only need 10, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. Yes, we will. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Okay, Tom. This is how it gets you started, being his slave. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh, ho. <laughs> oh, ho. He says, oh, and speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, and they even taste like oranges. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine oranges. So you collect six of them for me? Now, I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. If you see a tree growing oranges, you can press A to shake it, then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you have plenty of oranges for us in no time. Okay. Fine, Tom. I saw a tree right over here. Earlier. Shake that tree. Pick these up. So this is essentially the whole entire game park. I think I just picked something else up too. Look, I only had to walk a very short distance. Pick it up. Pick it up. And pick it up. I got six. I'll let the other ones grow and ripen a little bit. All right, Tom. Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those oranges off your hands and get started with the preparations. I like how Tom literally wasn't doing anything this entire time. Why didn't you get the oranges, Tom? That's what I want to know. What do you think, Clark, man? Don't know. That Tom guy, he's something else. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Fire. I made fire. Oh, look at that, Clark. Ooh. Look at those graphics. Clap, 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 clap. We're all clapping. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to the new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years. I remember being in debt to Tom, and he, he kept me a boss. or He was my boss for a long time. I didn't like it. Oh, but was he angry? He does look angry, doesn't he? But this may be the most exciting, helping develop a thriving new community entirely from, from scratch will truly test my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm? Oh ho. See what he's going to try to do is put us to work developing this island and then he's going to own everything and we're going to be his slaves. Well, we should set him on fire and put him in that fire. I'm thinking about pushing Tom right into the fire and just mm -hmm. taking this island over for myself. What do you think? Yeah. We should do that right yeah. now. Yeah, but you can't do that in there. There's no swords in this game as far as I can tell. Uh -huh. Um... Hmm. No pickaxes either, I don't see. So I guess we'll have to keep, just keep playing. We'll see what happens. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge, aka work hard. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call it deserted island, deserted island anymore. What should we call it? We should call it Greg's Island. <coughs> we should call it, I think I'm dying. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present you your ideas. Uh, what should we name Craig's it? Island. Clark's Island. Clark's Island? Uh-huh. That seems, seems uh, like we could do better. Please, Dad, let's just do that. Clark's Island. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Please. This is your. This is. Okay, Clark's Island. <laughs> We're so creative with our names here. Clark's. You know what me and mom's was called when we made our town? Mm -hmm. It's called Cake Town. Cake Town? Cake Town. It's called, it's called Clark's Cake Town? No, but this is going to be called Clark's Island, unfortunately. Yeah. Unless they come up with a better name, then we're going to choose that. Yeah. So Clark's, Clark's Island. <laughs> oh, you can't even you can't even go that long, bud. What? It's too long. It's too long. We need something short. I need something short. What's this called? Clark. <laughs> Clark lives on Clark. Can I do Clarkland? Mm -hmm. Whoops, I, I just spelled it wrong. Uh, we need to press B to go back. Clarkland. <laughs> Clarkland. Clarkland. It's Clarkland. That's what it is. Clarkland. I like Clarkland. Yeah. Uh, the world of Animal Crossing is welcome to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Clarkland's very offensive, isn't it? Yeah. People are going to be so upset. Yeah. I don't think they want you calling it, like, Poop Sniffer Land and, yeah. like, Goof Troop. Yeah. Stuff like that. All right, so Clarkland. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready, go. Rocks a lot, Clarkland, and Swoleville. Um, you guys are as bad at making names as, as we are. Yeah, I think you, I think hmm. ours is the best. I agree. Clark seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Clark suggested Clarkland. Oh, they're liking it too. Okay. Wow, that's an overwhelming positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. <laughs> I suppose if everyone's in agreement, I should have called it Nook Sucks. <laughs> Nook sucks is what I should have named our town. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. He would have been so jacked. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we're going Clark Clarkland. Clarkland. Nook sucks. Nook sucks. <laughs> we could have named it Hate Nook. Hate Nook. That's so <laughs> unfortunate. Instead, it's Clarkland. Okay. Mr. Uh, Ego over here, Mr. Narcissist Clarkland. Well, Clark. Since you've proven yourself by naming Clarkland, I'm taking over from Tom Nook. I'd like to rely on you for your other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Okay, first critical job, get rid of Tom Nook. I hereby name you the resident representative of Clarkland. Clark, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesman for your neighbors? What word would you want to say? Would you want to say howdy, or do you want to say you can count on me? That's not a choice. Okay, what about Smoothie Maker? No. You, you have to actually <laughs> choose from what they have here. Okay, what, what? You want to say howdy, a word or two, or you can count on me? Word. Word or two. Oh, you're a smart, smart Alec, aren't you? <laughs> he said a word or two. Oh my gosh. So we settled on a name for Island, and we've selected our resident representative. I didn't even volunteer for that. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Mmm, toast is delicious. They're having drinks, Clark. I think they're milkshakes. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from oranges. Our new resident representative harvests this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Clarkland and the happiness of its residences. Residents. Cheers. Yeah. Welcome to Reading Games with Greg and Clark. What are we doing now, boss? What's your deal? I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here. Okay. Clark likes that. Okay. What's your deal? Pashmina. I never settled an island before. Clarkland. This is going to be rad, kidders. Okay. You're aggravating. I'm just kidding. Tom, we meet again. Oh, Clark, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep fire burning. Okay. Yeah, fine. You'll probably want this. Oh, leaf. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting your, for your in your tent as well. 
Just a few items that may be useful. To open a package, to open packages and use the things inside. Press it. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl in the bed. We've got another big day out of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes. That's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Clark. Oh, thanks, Tom. I don't trust you, though. Don't think that I trust you. Let's go to my house. The best spot on the lot. Right up here. It's dark. Inside the tent. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. What do we got here? It's dark in your tent. Hey, I got a radio. And a lantern. Oh, nice. I can turn that on. Can I pick these things up? Oh. Um, that's where I was going to put my bed at, actually. This is very awkward. It's like there's a box around this thing. Like, it's, it's massive. Uh, okay, let me go into my inventory here. I'm going to put my bed over here. The camping cot looks like a leaf, doesn't it? Oh. Cool. Okay. Is it all we want to do tonight? Can I go back outside? I'm going to go, uh... Prank people. What do you think? I wonder if I can cut trees down in this game, too. This tree's, like, kind of right in the way in my spot. The fruit. Yeah, the fruit. Get that fruit. Well, no, I'll save that for later, just in case it goes bad or whatever. So eventually we can build bridges in this game and we can go across here and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this spot quite a bit. Seems like it was meant to be. Let's go to bed and then we'll wake up tomorrow and we'll have a fresh day ahead of us, Clark, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I wish I could try out this game. Okay, you want to try it? Mm -hmm. Okay, go over to bed and uh, go, go lay down. Okay. In the bed. Right, let's go over this. Just walk over to the bed, I think. <laughs> there you go. Clarky's playing now. Now what do I do now? Rest my head for a little while. Press A. Mm -hmm. That button right over there. And click A again. It says rest. I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> Clark had a big first day, didn't he? Who sleeps with their head at that end? I was thinking like the... I think you'd be laying the other way, but... Who am I to judge? Tom Nook probably has that as his policy. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, it's a dog playing a guitar. He's like, go to sleep. So, this is from KK. Looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. Press A. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. A. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road, being by your own... <laughs> yeah, oh, no. okay, give me that. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling, this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's, <laughs> where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. So dig this island life a lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. Oh man, we slept in big time, Clark. It's gonna be uh, afternoon when we wake up. Holy moly. Uh, I wish I could walk, Dad. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Tom Nook says, Clark, are you in there? Oh, I hope you haven't woken up, woken you up abruptly. Ah, oh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Okay, hop out of bed, sir. Can't just walk out of there. Clarky's now controlling the, the game. I think we have to go meet up with old Tom. Hey, you got mail, bud. Oh, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. I did. Clark hates naps. He doesn't know that. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Yeah, it was definitely more than a nap. I slept that long? Oh, yes, it was quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip. And major life event. 
Speaking of which, go ahead. I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Go ahead. What, what do you got there for me? Oh, a phone! Yeah! It's a Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. He's like, the subscription is only $49 a month. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Thank you for the phone, Don. Oh, I want to make sure it's working, right? So you could try turning it on for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we got a Nook phone. Welcome to Nook Mobile. All right. Did it, did it work? Oh, good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Yes, Master. Say, Clark, have you ever used a smartphone before? No, he hasn't. Um, you said sure have. <gasps> this should be a breeze for you. Okay, that's what we chose. All right. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh, yes, we simply removed the most of the features. Oh, ho! That weasel thumb. I have one more thing for you. Let's see. He's got a surprise for you, Clark. A itemized bill! I knew it was coming. Freaking Tom. This includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor tax, and of course, your nook phone. Oh my god, Tom. I knew that was coming. Grand total of the models. Oh my gosh. We owe him almost 50,000 bells, Clark, man. This is how Tom Nook gets you every time. You go into debt to this guy. And then you have to start working your debt off. Should have known that was coming. Wait. Okay. Fine, Tom. Maybe I should say water bells. Oh, good one, Clark. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here in Clark. Ah, oh, but there's still a problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared exactly for this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bills. I call this extremely helpful service. The Nook Mileage Program. Oh my gosh. What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in Clarkland. I like that idea. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees, and much more. So, the bottom line is, you need 40, 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app, and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. So happy you have have you as a resident of Clarkland and a client of Nook Incorporated. So he basically allowed me to come here and set up a tent, and now I owe him 50,000 bells. This is a racket. I'm being extorted. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Uh, as long as that thing you want to do is work. Now on island life, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Oh, no. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right screen in the corner. You can save and quit your game after pressing minus. Okay. Let's check our mail quick here. Right, can I check it? Got a thing from Nintendo. Clark, thank you for downloading the update. I'd like to give you a present to show your appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well. Okay. What did we get? A present? Uh, okay. Got that. Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Okay. Do I delete these then? I'll let my inbox get full. All right, so apparently I have something in my pocket from Nintendo, Clark. They sent a gift. Uh, I got a world map. Nice. And... A DIY workbench. Okay. Yeah, can I put it inside my house, or does that have to be outside? Free up some inventory. You know that inventory game we play at Minecraft all the time. It'd be nice to... All right, so, um... Let's, uh... Let's... Oh, for sakes, what was that? Oh, I just I just took that back for some reason. 
my radio. Why'd I pick that up? Whatever. Let's just make sure everything's in here. We will uh, put the workbench in here. Oh wait, that didn't that did not work. How do I pick that up? I mean it has to be outside. I almost have a million bells, oh my gosh. That's crazy. I'm gonna i I'm gonna set this up. Why don't we put it right over here? This seems like a good place for a workbench. What do you think? DIY recipe, I wonder how I can memorize it. Well, okay, that's not doing anything for me. How do you actually use these things? I can only drop them. Can I do anything with these things? Anyways, what was I supposed to do next? Go visit Tom, probably. Oh, let me get on my phone once. How do I access my phone? We should have probably looked at that, Clark. I don't know how to access my phone at all. Um, nope. Nope, that's not it. I'll let someone in the chat tell me how to access my phone. Tell me the button to do that. Because Clark just was like, yeah, I know all about phones. Oh, actually, we have to go down here. There's our friend. Maybe we should talk to her. Clark! Thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent. All up and running, thanks to that pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living in an uninhabited island, so I was all ready to go solo, kidders. I could totally go for having rock stars like you around, though. She's very nice. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Cool. Thank you. All right, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. If you've never done a DIY project before, you should ask Tom Nook where Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing a free DIY demos over at the Resident Services. Okay, okay. Yeah, I should, uh, should do that. ZL. Oh, okay. Tom, be nice? I can take pictures. Oh, that's cool. If you want to. Nah, I don't really need to take a picture. Oh, let's see how many Nook Miles we have. Alright, I'm enrolled. Or Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Resident Service Center. Okay. Make the most out of island life. Earn Nook Miles. Yeah. Okay, you travel a long way just to move a little... Island and you ruled in Nook Mileage Program, so you've earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Ooh, I awesome screen. Oh yeah, we got 500. 500 bells? Cool. 500 Yeah, we got 500 miles, actually. Oh, not bells. Yeah, not bells. Okay. Learning how to fish is an essential skill. Nook Inc. encourage all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Okay, so that's something I could do. Island Togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness, or gregarious, ooh, I like that word, meetings, greetings initiative, aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. I see. This is giving me things to do every day. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. All right, so I have to catch, the, catch bugs and go fishing. Fascinating. Okay, what's this? Custom oh, designs. No, shark, With this app, you can create custom designs to wear on clothing or display around the island. When you save custom designs in the app, you can share them with other island residents. There's a chance that your custom designs can be seen by other players during network play sessions when you visit another island, for example. Please don't create anything that infringes on others' rights. Don't use private information, yours or anyone else's, or offensive words or images. Oh wow, can I use these? Hey Clark, I just gave you a new shirt. Oh, thank you. That's cool. What are oh these are clovers? But okay. I guess that's Clark's new outfit. You have a plane on your shirt now. What's this? Check the map for your current location. You can also press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the mini map during your day-to-day -day activities. Okay, so there's Clark. I want the mini map on. I'll do I'll do on while moving. Off. 
off while moving. Always off. Always on. I think I'm gonna go always on. Of course I want my mini map, right? What's this? Um, your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players when visiting another island, for example. You can change your photo, title, or comment anytime. Customize them to show off your style. Cool. All right. And a helicopter. Use this service for an emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked and you're stuck. You'll be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required. Use okay, we're not doing that ever. Nope. We don't want to call them. Okay. Talk to this guy, too. Yo, Clark, that spot you found for me is just incredible. Oh, yeah. Awesome, dude. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Okay. All right. I got something here for you. Okay. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. I'm no longer going to be saying okay. Oh, you got a hat, bro. Oh, yes. You can try another person. Yes. Open up the pockets. All right. I got a hat. You want to wear your hat? Of course, right? Oh, wow. Oh, I thought it was like a... <laughs> you look like a real goof. And we got a sailor shirt. Okay. Hey, something's happening on your phone, it looks like. It looks like a fisherman hat. One of the goals is to... Uh, okay. I talked to everybody today. Yeah! Oh, we got 300 Nook Miles for that. Sweet. Nook Miles. Where are Nook Miles? Look, I need the All right. Nook Miles. We gotta catch some bugs and, uh... Oh, we have to go fishing. I don't have a fishing pool, though. Yeah. All right, let's go find Tom. Go talk to this little dude. Oh, Clark. It's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. Yeah, if you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Okay, I think I need to go in here and talk to the old Tom. Dirty old Tom. All right, Tommy. Oh, Clark, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can uh, help you build out your island experience. I think it'd be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Hmm? Yeah, actually, I will. First, though, what do you got, boss? Welcome, welcome. Uh, we intend to offer a small selection of goods. Space is limited, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some items you're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. What do you got? Don't I need like a I need like a fishing rod? Oh wow. I do need a fishing rod. Flimsy fishing rod. Should I buy any of this stuff, guys? Let me know if I need to buy anything here. Because I I need to go fishing apparently. Yeah. Or if I can get it for free, I won't do that. I'll click cancel for now. So you guys are throwing that out. Uh, not so much. Mm. Oh, wow, they even th pay you for weeds and trash. You if you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. You know, I should give them fruits and vegetables or whatever I can find in the trees. What about that DIY workshop? About that workshop. Yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it'll be quite useful for island life. Mm -hmm. So I shall put you down for the next available session. Yes, please. That's Alan Spirit. Have to be free right this very moment. So let's get started. Okay, that was that was a quick appointment. 
Welcome to my DIY workshop. I suppose the workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. We're, no, we're familiar with that, aren't we, Clark? Yeah. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using, yes, I'm glad I didn't buy that, using common materials you can find. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It's admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me when you've collected the materials. All right, boss. All right, Clark, I'm gonna let you go out and collect some branches, okay? Okay. What do I do? To Just walk around and then press A when you find the branch. All right. Oh, hey, little dude. Hey, hey, what do you want? Go find some tree branches. I just gonna talk to him. There's one. Uh-huh. Press, press A, I think, or is it Y? I think it might be Y. <gasps> eh, you collected something, press A. There you go. There's more over there, too. Would you, you didn't, you didn't pick it up. You gotta go up a little bit higher. You can't even see. Here, you can do this. Here, let me help you. Pr press it right there. What? <laughs> Nobody. Okay, let me close that. Press, press Y. Oh gosh. There you go. That's two. We gotta keep looking around for tree branches. There's a butterfly. Can you capture that or is it gonna fly away? We're gonna need a, a net. Come down. Let's come down this way. There you go. There's a tree branch. Press Y. There you go. There's more up there. It's still up there. Walk right up to that branch, bud. Right there. You can move the camera like this. We need one more, I think. And What's that? And we'll Do you like this game? Yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun once we get past the tutorials hey, and all sir. this crap and hey. all the reading and stuff. Readings for people that well, know things. Mm -hmm. Nope, nothing. Oh, there is one right there behind the tent. Mm -hmm. Press Y. Nice. I think you have five. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the old Tom. You can crack. Get that one too. Now we got more than enough. Go uh, straight down this way. That'll take you back to Tom's. No, that's our tent. Oh. This way? Yeah, that's Tom's tent right there. Yep, right inside there is Tom's. Press, uh, I think you have to press like A to go in there, maybe. Hold up and press A. Here, let me try. There you go. Alright, yep, go over to Tom and, and press A. You have to get real close to him, I think. There you go. Press A. There you go. Oh, Clark found the necessary materials. Hmm. You did. Okay. Press, press A. Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. And again, let's select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Here, let me see that real quick. We definitely need a fishing rod. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty easy. That's a fishing rod? It looks like a toolbox. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your mouth. Would you mind opening it up? Sure, Tom. Airdrop it to me. He did. Oh, this is how I'll make my workbench too, Clark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Splendid, thank you. The other app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. Hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of the fish when you cast your line. It would, I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. We're going to go fishing, Clark. First, I'm going to go up to this real quick. Yeah, I want to craft... Um, 
more craft the flyer? I need more of those. I can craft a campfire. I'll craft it. What else can I do? What are those other recipes that I have? Didn't I have like a recipe in my my thing here? Yeah, if you're a fisherman, Rod. I learned a DIY workbench. Okay, I got that. And I'll take that. Leaf umbrella. Let's take a look and see what these things entail. Yeah, you should make a net too. Yeah, yeah I should probably make a net in case we see any butterflies. Mm -hmm. I guess all in it for a little bit. Okay, so we need hardwood and iron nugget. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need materials for that. And, oh, we need clumps of weeds for this, for the leaf umbrella. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, fishing and then we'll try to make an umbrella as well. Be a pretty successful day if I say so. How many fish do we need to get? Um, Whole bunch? I'll go up three rivers and we'll see if we can get a fish. There'd be like a shadow for a fish. Oh, there's one. How do I, uh... Oh, I think I was too slow. I think you have to pull him as soon as he bites, probably. They didn't really explain that, but... It's probably the case. Oh, there's a fish, Clark. Come on, fish. I kind of threw it behind him. My rod's probably going to be breaking here. Oh, are you kidding me? He's going the other way now. Where are you, little rat? Little fish rat. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Let it float down to him. Come on. You know you want it. Hey! What kind of fish is it's it? a pale chub. That name seems a bit judgy. Yeah, you got fishy. How many fish do I need to get on a for my thing? I, I need ten fish. Instead of one fish. to get 10 recipes. There's a lot of things I need to do 10 of, apparently. Okay. Let's try to, uh, let's get one more fish at least. Can I fish in the ocean too? Oh, wow. Can I pick that up? Oh, I found a shell. What's going on? Where can I pick that up? Oh, helps if I had to press the right button. I don't know what that thing is, but I'll take them, right? Cool. That was cool. Where's a little beach house? Let's get some weeds, Clark. To make that umbrella. That's all good. That's yeah, I need like 15 weeds. Should be enough, I would think, right? Gra grab a couple more just in case. Just hit one hour of fun. Dude, this is, uh, it's been a lot of reading, so you guys that are watching this live, um, kudos to you. You're a trooper. I think the game's gonna get pretty fun, though, once we kind of get into this. Oh, they really got that thing blazing last night. Yeah. Okay, let's go back in here once. It's actually my first time ever streaming Nintendo Switch, too. Alright, let's, uh, let's go up here real quick. I'm gonna craft. And, uh... Leaf umbrella. Yeah, I should probably craft one of those eventually. Mm. 
got an umbrella clock, man. Umbrella, umbrella, if I was just a leaf. What else can I craft? Is there anything else I can do? What do I need to do to get a net? I need two more tree branches. I know a guy that can help me find tree branches. Me. Yep. It's me. I'm not ready. Go for it, Clark Man. You need to go find uh, two more branches on the ground. Is it possible to pick up all the There's one up there. Is it possible to pick up all the branches and not have any branches, or do they just keep always falling down? Keep Walk right up to it and press Y. Real close to it. There you go. It's that one right there. Okay, we need one more to go make a, a net. Maybe look on the other side of the island on the, over there. Head over this way. Yeah. This game's pretty chill, though. Yeah, don't fall in the water. I don't think so. Probably not. Oh, phone call. They're probably calling about Roxy Bear. Hello? Hello? Okay. Awesome. Okay, that uh -oh. sounds good. Okay, I'll be there. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. Bye-bye. Roxy Bear went out to the vet today, and she is good to go. The things that she had on her were... Uh, um, I was trying to pick up those oranges that I, I put down. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick them up. Good job shaking them down, though, bud. Roxy had a sebaceous cyst and a, uh, and a fatty fatty cyst or something like that. So it's all good. Roxy's good. Nope, she, they said she did really well and she's she's good to go. Did you find that last uh, stick that we need? Nope. We're short one stick. Oh, you can shake the tree, they say. Oh gosh, I feel silly doing this. <gasps> Dude, I just got a hundred bells shaking that tree. Okay, we're gonna be shaking every tree in this, this entire game. Part. The frick is that? Bees! <laughs> okay, bro, 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 bro. I did not mean to do that. Let's just be... Oh, I'm getting stung, Clark. Am I gonna die? I got stung by wasps. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, my, my eyes hurt. That was something, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess it's not only a reward. Yeah, no. All right, let's go uh, make ourselves yeah. an umbrella. Or not an umbrella, a, uh, a net. Yeah. Your eyes still hurt? Yeah, I think he, he got stung in the eyes a bit. <laughs> Freaking wasps. Hey, Tom. It's silly how it comes up. Like, do you really, yeah. do you really want to do this? I'm like, yes, of course I do. All right, we have gear, Clark. Dad, can I, can I catch something? You want to catch a butterfly? No, I don't want to keep crafting. I clicked the wrong button. Make campfires. There's not much else we can do, so. What's this? Is it an ATM machine? Oh, I'm gonna forget. I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's terminal service that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Clark. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on the island. The second, this terminal service is an automatic bell dispenser, ABD, for the Bank of Nook. It also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. I don't say yes, yes anymore. I think this might be beyond my where I'm at right now. Once a day, accessing the Nook stop will award you a bonus daily miles. Okay, I'll take my miles. Um, oh, look at that, Clark. What? We can buy some epic stuff in here, dude. Okay, what about 
about a um some shoes. Like, yeah, I want some shoes. Bro. We we have we do not have enough money for any of these things. It's saying that we have a hundred bells. A hundred? Yeah, we have a hundred bells and these things this is thirty two hundred. Just that cap alone is five hundred. Okay. We're, we'll uh, we'll keep that in mind for the future when we get some more bells. How do you get bells? That's that's the thing I want to know. Like I, I see how you get miles. How do you get bells though? But how do you get beehives? Uh, you shake a tree and you get stung by them. Okay, Clark man, I'm gonna put a uh, the net in your hand. Your guy looks yeah. rough. Yeah, because he got stung. All right, go. You need to go find some. Uh, what do I press to catch the? Just press A, but don't do it all the time because it's flimsy. Okay? okay. Only do it when you find a bug. There's a bug right up there. Go get him. Get him, Clark. Clark. Yes, he did it, bud. Yeah. You got a. Looks like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Press A. A common blue bottle. I'll put it in the rare green jar. Okay. We're in business, boys. Yeah. This game is too violent. The wasp almost ripped his eye off. I know. <laughs> Rated M for mature. Cool, man. I'm gonna have to look up how how do you get bells. Oh, we can sell things though. Can I see that once real quick? Oh, there's there's a fish. You wanna fishing is not easy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to our fishing rod. We're gonna get that fish. Oh, he keeps going the wrong way. Maybe we'll come back. No? No? Not so much? Sugar Shack collects mans. Oh, there's... Come, come to it. Let's let it float down to him. There he goes. There he goes, Clark. He's going for it. He's going for it. Uh, welcome to Fishing Simulator. Oh, he sees it. <gasps> I was too early! Sugar Shack! What did he do? This game is brutal. What's it? Hey, that guy's trying to catch a bug. I'm gonna catch a bug, too. I want to catch a bug. Okay, go ahead. Oh, we have to, to wrap this up, though, because I have to pick Roxy Bear up. So we're gonna have to save yeah, I'm You're coming with me? Oh, I think we can flip those rocks over and stuff and find things under them. Mm -hmm. There's another fish. Oh man, I'm gonna be fishing like crazy in this game. I can sell stuff to Tommy. Well, Tommy, he can take my fruits and stuff. Like this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Here, can I try something real quick? Let me try something with this rock. I feel like I can. I feel like that's a thing. Put that away. I feel like I've seen people do this before. I just picked up the stone. Can I sell the stone to Tommy? I think you can sell anything. Watch this part. Let's go see Tommy real quick. I'm gonna try to sell him all this crap that I have. See if I can make some money. Ah, uh, it's not his house. It's up here. Yeah, it's up here. Tommy, I've got some crap for you. Clark, how can I help you today? This will be one of the final things we do. Um, I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Oh, all kinds of great stuff for you, Tommy. I've got uh, 14 clumps of weeds. Yeah, man. 140 bells. Um, sure. Can I negotiate? I've got more things, bud. I've got more things. What else should we sell Tommy, Clark? Um, what about all kinds of crap? How about that rock? Yeah. He totally wants that stone. Yeah. Can I select more than one thing, I wonder? Yeah. How's that heavy stone? 75 bells for that stone. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. Bell life. I'm, I'm getting bell life. Okay. All right, Tommy. I got a couple more things to sell you. Um, maybe I can select I sell my fish. Oh, I think I can select more than one thing. How about that? Mm -hmm. Um I don't want to sell my shirt. A sand dollar. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, two oranges. Oh, and this butterfly. Let's sell them all this. What do you think, Clark? Yeah. Sell off like all of our stuff? What's this thing? Oh, the world map. All right, look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. 880 bells, okay. So this is how this game gets addicting. We found out how it works. You collect a bunch of stuff like a maniac, mm -hmm. and then you come and sell it and get money, and then you go over to the Nook Station thing there and you buy things. That's how it happens. Okay. Wait. When you eat uh, food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you ever imagined. No, no one has shared that with me. Oh. Okay. I think I'll, I'll start eating the fruit then. Okay, thank you for that information. Check my phone here. Something happened on my phone. Got some Nook Miles, apparently. At least I thought I did. Oh, something happened here. Greedy Weeder. <laughs> okay, so I, I had to dig up 50 weeds. All right, so yeah, that is, that is Animal Crossing, New Horizons, at least our first playthrough of this. Lots of reading in this episode, but we're gonna keep playing this. I'm gonna be, I think I'm probably gonna get addicted to this game. We have to figure out how to heal too, Clark, man. Maybe, maybe overnight things will get better there. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I'm gonna make sure I save my game here. Yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. Thank you guys all for watching and, and being with us today on this. This was, I don't know, I think, I think it's gonna be a great time. Something a little different too. Highly recommended game. And now we save. I wanna thank you guys all for watching today's video. If you're watching this live on Twitch or if you're watching on YouTube in the future, thanks for being a part of it. And we'll see you guys in the next stream.